So here we are in the field, planting the oats. I've done a bit off camera, as you can see. But uh, we've got a little field of canola to um, harvest. And I'm going to do a couple of contracts because I want to buy another field today. A grass field, so we can uh, make some hay. But um, one of the contracts is on the field I want to buy. So uh, we might as well use the uh, contract do earn some money then purchase the field makes sense so uh we'll kick this off on a time lapse and i'll speak to you when the field's done <laughs> Just like that, the field is finished. We'll just get these misfits, and then we'll uh, jump in the doits, put the doits on the uh, on a worker doing the rolling, and then we'll take the um, trailer and the combine up to the restaurant, and we'll get the little field of canola what we got harvest, and then we'll look in and get in a sell point to sell this um, firewood. I think we got about 28,000 liters to sell. So I'll come back to you when we set the doits off on the um, on the worker. All right, that's the doits on the um, on the worker. He's going to roll it. We're going to need to um, spray some herbicide in the next month, and then we need to get this field ploughed. So um, I'll get the combine all struck up. We'll get the trailer up to the uh, restaurant, and we'll get the. Um, we get the field uh, harvest. We'll just put that there for now. That'll be fine now. I 
Right, I'll see you up the uh, canola field. All right, here we are, coming to the field of canola. There's a restaurant we um, created. After we've uh, harvested this field, we're gonna join these two together. Have one, one field. So this won't take long. We notice it will fit in uh, one tank, but I can't see it. So I'll speak to you when, uh, when we get this field finished. We'll get this final bit done. We'll go and get the um, trailer. It did fit in one hopper. We'll get over 50%. We might hit 60. Maybe 53% probably. Yeah, 54. 2,453 litres off this tiny field, which I suppose is not bad really. We'll check the oil we're at. We'll get it unfilled. Jump in the uh, combine, get this emptied, and then we'll go get this um, canola sold. There's no point in keeping it. Might as well put it to a new field we want to buy. Switch the engine off. And let's get to the sell point. Well, here we are at the sell point. Let's see what we're going to make. It's not going to be a huge payment, but everything little helps. Not bad, 4,196. So, um, we'll go to the field I want to do that. We've got a harvest contract I want to do, which is a, a biggish field. And then we've got a grass contract to do, to make hay, I think. Field I want harvest is right next to the farm anyway, so we'll get there and then um, we'll get cracking on the um, oats harvest on this contract we want to do. I think the, the grass field I want to buy is about 46 grand, I think. So we've got a little way to go. Anyway, let's. Uh, Let's get to this field. I think we have to go this way. Yeah, it's just like this field just here. What field are we in? Nineteen. I 
so daunting. Right now, about yeah. So we'll zip that. He's getting on fine. Right, let's get to the field and let's get cracking on. So I'll get to the field and then we'll jump straight into the time lapse and we'll get this oaks harvest. Chuck that on the worker. We'll unload on the way down. Then we'll go and see where we have to take it. I think it was the uh, grain elevator, wasn't it? Let's have a look, Oaks. Yeah, let's, uh, we'll tag that get alongside his combine before he gets down the bottom. Nice, nice. I don't think it'll fill the trailer, but we'll soon see. Jump in back in the combine and we'll take over. We'll get the trailer filled and then we'll um, get to the settle point. We'll jump back in it, make the worker. We'll chuck it back on the time lapse and then uh, I'll speak to you when we're we'll loading up the settle point. I think the combine's just finished, so we made that just in the right time. We go one. Thank you. Let's 
so get this in line with 85% of combine. Oh. We'll see how much we're gonna make. We're gonna make a little bit off the ground. Probably 900 to 1,000 pounds. Plus what we're gonna get paid for the contract. But that's nowhere near enough what we want to uh, buy the grass build. Here we are, let's get this contract completed. Well, not bad, 5,125 pounds. And we'll get a 10% discount on future field purchases from Robson, whatever his name is. Let's collect, collect their contract. Another 2,000, so we've got 8, 9,000 pounds for that. So we're up to 14,025. To 14,253, should say, sorry. Here we are back at the farm. We'll park this trailer up and then we'll head over to the grass field that I want to purchase and do the contract on. Right, this is the um, grass field I want to buy, field 147. We need to uh, set the contract. So we'll go in and set this, 147. Yep, this is the one. Oh, we didn't, we didn't collect the money from the last contract. So we'll collect that and we'll make our way down to the shop. We'll purchase a lawnmower and we'll see if we can put a Three point linkage on the front of the tractor, and then we'll get back to the far, get back to the field, and we'll get it um, bowed. Here we are back at the store. Right, let's get into the um, workshop and take a look and see if we can get the uh, three-point linkage on. There we are. Yes, we can. It's going to cost £4,500. So we'll do this. There you go. Oh, well, that's that done. Now let's just take a look at the mowers. This is the front mower, what I'm uh, going to look at. Let's change the speed. We don't want to go too fast. 12 and a half miles an hour. We'll turn this one into red. Yep, we'll buy that. Nicey nice. Now for the back mower, change this to red, change the speed to 12 and a half miles an hour, buy that, nicey nice, that leaves us with £4,406, now let's take a look at the windrows and the tethers, nope, I haven't got the tether installed so I'll have to go and install that, let's take a look at the windrow to see if we've got that one installed. Come on, where are you? Windrow, Windrow. Oh, yeah, here we are, Windrow. Nope, I haven't got that one installed neither. So I'll have to install that one as well. So we'll get connected to the front mower and the rear mower. We'll head back to the farm. We'll start mowing the um, field. So let's go.
Well, these uh, mowers are quite, quite good. They're awesome. Now, this is the field nearly finished. And here we go. We are finished. Let's get these little mist bits. There you go. All finished. And let's get the uh, mowers folded up. We'll get these put away. Spin round, get the front mower put in the uh, shed, and we'll uh, connect to the feed trainer, top up the chickens. Yep, they didn't eat that much. Happy days. Let's get connected um, to the trailer, and then we'll take a look at the corn dryer. Yeah, the corn dryer is finished. We got just under thirteen thousand liters. So we'll get over to the corn dryer, and then we'll um, we'll take a look at some prices. While the trailer fills up, we'll take a look at the price. All right, let's have a look at the price. Dry corn. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Come on, dry corn. Where are you? Um, yep, there we are. Currently at one thousand nine hundred and three pound, and get two thousand four hundred and fifty-four pound in July. What are we in currently? August. So we've got a couple of months to wait. So we will store it. Well, we unload this in the um, silo, and then I'll um, go and install the windrow and the tether, and I'll come back to you when I've got the windrow and we're back at the field ready to get it ted. Here we are. I've got the uh, mod downloaded. I found this one, it teds and windrows at the same time. I f what I think is quite smart. So we'll give this a go. Um, it's not very big. The rows are not going to be that big. We're going to have plenty of rows. So we're going to have a lot of bale and rows to bale. But we'll kick it off on the last time lapse. And um, I'll speak to you when we're nearly finished. <laughs> Yeah, this is smart. I like it, but there's a lot of rows to the bow, so we probably won't purchase this, we'll probably send it back. But I'll finish the rest off camera, so thanks for watching. If you did like the episode, if you can hit the thumbs up, and if you haven't done already, please subscribe. 
let's get on to 500 subscribers before um, FS25 comes out. So help me get there. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.